As a parent of a child with special needs, your hopes are that they have a normal life. I had no idea this would happen because of a shelter cat that no one else wanted. Jade, look. This is Jade. There you go. Jade was born with autism. Aww. She is such a fun, loving, playful little girl. We have the ice cream. I want to eat some. But because of Jade's disability, she has a sensitivity to things in her environment. Jade didn't know how to interact with kids, got very frustrated, didn't know how to cope with a lot of things. But the roughest part of Jade's day was bedtime. When it was time for bed, all of her senses would kick into overdrive and it was a nightmare. Jade was very sensitive to lights. Hot or cold would set her off. Very loud sounds. She'd get overstimulated and she wouldn't know how to calm herself down. She would cover her ears. She'd rock back and forth. She'd start crying, screaming, kicking her feet, playing on her hands. It was awful. Every night, I didn't know how to calm her down. And then all the other kids would wake up. To see your child go through something like this and not being able to help them. I wanted her just to have a normal life and not be judged. One day, my husband and I had a mix up with the keys and Jade and I got locked out of the house. When I asked Jade what she wanted to do to pass the time, she excitedly said, I wanna go pet the kitties, please. At the shelter, Jade was immediately drawn to this lump underneath this blanket. So she took the blanket off and Jade just had this big smile on her face like, oh, it's a cat. This cat looked so miserable. His name was Double Trouble. He had been in the shelter for five years with a viral disease. He had to get IV fluids, he had no teeth, skinny, unsociable. It really looked like he was waiting to die. Jade was talking to him and wanting to know more about him. And then when she got up and she walked away, he followed her. She sat down. He came up and sat right on her lap and started to purr. The director was shocked and started to cry. She said he had never been social to anyone before. And then Jade looks up at me and says, Mommy, can I please have him? So we brought Double Trouble home and we named him Trubs. That night at bedtime, Jade was very upset. I was trying to calm her down, but I wasn't able to do it. That's when I noticed that Trubs walked in the room. He jumped on the bed and kneaded his paws against her chest. It was just an instant relief for her. She smiled and she peacefully fell asleep. It was just like the best feeling ever. Jade is able to fall asleep on her own. Every night after that, it became a routine that Trubs would wait for her in her bedroom and then put her to bed. It was like it was meant to be. Hi, Double Trouble. Jade's connection with Trubs just continued to help her from there. Jade started having more self-confidence, started to interact with other children, before at school, she was having a hard time. Now she knows how to count, how to write. She's thriving. She tries new things. Nothing really bothers her anymore. I mean, she's a totally different kid. Trubs is amazing. Now, he doesn't require any daily medications, no weekly IVs. He's thriving. He's 
a fun, loving, playful cat. It was like all these years she was struggling and just one night, everything changes. Hey Drums, I love you and I'm your best friend. Sometimes we'll just look at Trubs and say, adopting this little cat that no one wanted has been the best decision that we've ever made. I love you, Trubs.